<laughs> now, this looks very weird. I'm in a very weird place. Um, not weird place. I mean, a good Airbnb, but the walls are so thin and my friend is sleeping upstairs. So I want to, you know, put it in a position where hopefully the sound doesn't travel. And I'm so determined to get this review out, guys. I don't want to wait until I wake up. I want to get it out for you guys now. So apologies for the low voice, for the whispering, but we need to get into this. And we need to get into this ASAP, but I just don't want to disturb them. But this is my, you know, this is something very important to me, so I need to get it out regardless of the damn time. Whew. This episode, guys, was crazy. One couple will be leaving the villa immediately. This time, the decision won't be made by America. This decision will be made by you. And let me tell you why it was crazy. We need to break it down. Sally and Justine. Justine has some week. doormat. Yeah, no, but when I'm things get brought up that. like this to me, I'm like, it makes me feel like people are like, what are, like, Sally, you're being dumb. And I'm like, no, I'm no not. No one's saying like, that. People are now separating. They're going their own way. Justine spoke to Sally, intoxicated, inebriated or not, spoke to um, Sally and said, listen, the way he puts himself forward in front of it, it, he puts himself forward instead of you. I didn't want to say this, but I'm just like, sometimes Johnny doesn't put you ahead of himself. I know he cares about you. I know he loves you. But like, sometimes I feel like he's a little bit selfish. If He, he doesn't care about you. He's not concerned about how you still feel about that when it keeps getting brought up. Loves you like that, he should be like, I know I'm down, but are you okay? How are you doing? These are major red flags. I just want that same energy from his end. I feel like I get that though. Justine keeps reminding Sally. I didn't want to say this, but I'm just like, sometimes Johnny doesn't put you ahead of himself. I know he cares about you. I know he loves you. But like, sometimes I feel like he's a little bit selfish. If he said he doesn't care, she's irritated because he keeps being brought up and we're now close to the final. What we're witnessing here is their friendship. Johnny is like one of the most genuine people. And the reason why I ride or die for him is not because I'm weak. And it's not because I want to be like, no one's seen as some weak. doormat. No. Yeah, but you can definitely tell that is that is what's going on right now. You can definitely tell. And I do feel sorry for them because Sally is just blind. Okay, I'll allow Donnie Jr. Donnie the third. I see it now that he has a lot of your new rag on. Hey. I'll be back. So much. Thank you guys for being who you are. The JJ. <laughs> She's genuinely blind, willingly blind. She chooses not to see what is going on because she doesn't want to see it. She wants to fake that crap. She knows he messed up. She wants to fake it and carry it on to the end of the competition. That's exactly what she wants to do. And I understand it can be frustrating. I understand it can be annoying for, you know, for her in general. But at the end of the day, your man messed up. Right now, at this moment, yes. I don't want to hear Sally's name again. <laughs> like, are you living in the moment? Justine spoke, you know, she, she didn't need to apologize, but they both clashed. And what we need to really, really break down is the defensive behavior. No one's seen as some weak. doormat. No yeah, but when things get brought up that. like this to me, I'm like, it makes me feel like people are like, what are like. 
from Sally. That is what we need to break down when it comes to this situation because she didn't really care about it. She blacklisted it out and she left. Wait. I don't see them working as friends on the outside. I just personally don't see myself. I don't think it's going to work out for them. You can see it. Justine is somebody who speaks the truth. Sally doesn't like it because it's killing her game plan. It's killing the competition for her and that first place. She knows this. Johnny knows this. And they don't like it. So repeat that. We also don't have the dumping. And we have Bennett and Lakin who got dumped. Decision won't be made by America. This decision will be made by you. I don't really care. Nobody cares, to be honest with you. They were irrelevant. Team furniture, stale bread, expired avocado. No. Have a little chat. Oh my. Can you all please meet me at the fire pit? Nobody was checking for them, not one person. So I don't really get it. They were the weakest couple. But at the end of the day, we had Carrington, who was trying to be best friends with Johnny, and then Johnny and Sally picked them as a weak couple. And they are a weak couple. Law is clearly in love with him. He isn't. That is going to burn down so quickly. It just, I feel like it's going to burn down so badly when it ends. I see them coming fourth in the competition. I don't really see it going any further. Oh, Sally and Justine. It's so sad. It's just so sad. I can't get over it because they started as great friends. And now they're incredibly weak. The friendship is frail. It's dying. It's breaking down. I can just see it happening now. The babies, the tasks. I find it quite boring. But at the end of the day, it does show stamina in a potential relationship. I'm going to be doing all this myself. I got a text! Yeah, mommy time! <laughs> oh my gosh, your leg came off! Your leg came off! <laughs> and again, Justine and Caleb. They persevered. For all of us, you know, being uh, five lovely couples, love you guys all so much. Thank you guys for being who you are. The JJ. They carried through. They did it great. I'm happy for them. What they are going to do for this competition, the fact that they were the last ones to pick what couple will get dumped, I find it a bit suspect, but it also shows that they are a strong couple, which is why they were one of the few people to be picked last. We'll get into that. We then have the trailer and we have again Justine and Caleb with the best date. I'm very content for that. And we're just gonna see how this works. The finale is now approaching guys. <laughs> Review is going to be absolute utter shambles. I apologize, guys. I apologize for what I look like, but I wanted to just get this out there for you guys ASAP. So, hopefully, you guys can hear me clearly and understand what I'm saying. And let me know what your thoughts are in the comment box below. Subscribe, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram. I'll catch you guys soon for another review. This is this one was cute, but it wasn't extensively long, which is what I wanted. But I need to end this. So Law is so lost, guys. Law is so lost. No, no baby! baby! <laughs> What's your baby's name? Pepe. Is it a boy? It's a man.
ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ